Hey guys, welcome to another special behind the box video with my aquarium box. This is the September 2017 edition of my aquarium box. Now it's been a couple weeks that I've been wanting to film this video, but it's been very rainy. I wanted to shoot one more video outside before it got too cold outside. So here we are at the end of the month or the beginning of the month, whichever, and uh, I wanted to take a look and see what we got. Now we've got two boxes here. This is the cichlid box and this is the freshwater box. We also have a salt water box. You can check out Mass Aquariums on YouTube to see the salt water unboxing. First thing we see here is a scorecard for the cichlid box. If you're new to my aquarium box, there's two ways to win. We've got the mega box. If you shoot a unboxing video like this, talking about what you got in your box and what you liked and upload it to YouTube with the hashtag my aquarium box in the title you can win big big prizes from Marineland we give away LED lights we give away canister filters all kinds of great stuff second way to win if you snap a photo of your box arrange all the products all nice and upload that to Facebook you can win yourself a free box for next month and this month, the small business spotlight is Kohler Labs. If you want to go check them out at kohlerlabs.com slash shop, you can find all kinds of cool aquarium products that they offer. And thanks, as always, to our sponsors. Without our sponsors, my aquarium box would not be possible. So big, big thank you to all of the sponsors listed on this sheet. All right, let's jump straight into the cichlid box. We've got a card for Beneficial Fish Foods. And uh, if you haven't checked this out, uh, if you got a box, uh, either a freshwater box or a saltwater box, you've probably gotten to sample this product from Dr. Tim's Beneficial Fish Food. It's a DIY fish food kit. Pretty cool. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. We also have a flyer here from Ocean Nutrition uh, about all of the new frozen flat pack fish foods that they have. So definitely something to go check out as well. And once we jump into the products, the first thing we have here is a sample of omnivore growth pellets. This is a quarter pound sample of food, good amount of food, uh, two and a half millimeter pellet, and this would be good for any of your omnivore fish that are in sort of the growth stages. Um, when they are like extreme juvenile fish, obviously these pellets are too large. When they are adult fish, you know, their nutrition uh, changes a little bit, but if they're growing, this is a great pellet to uh, offer them. So hopefully you enjoy that. Second food item we have here, and this is from San Francisco Bay brand, is freeze dried krill. So if you have any fish, uh, carnivore type fish, and especially if they're larger, they would definitely enjoy this as a treat. Freeze dried krill. It's great to have a varied diet, and uh, I think freeze dried foods are sort of underrated. Um, so it's good to uh, to mix it up and, and offer freeze dried foods as well. Next up, we have not one, not two, not three, four, but five uh, feeder cones for your fish. Now, if you are a cichlid keeper, chances are you have more than one tank. Uh, chances are your fish are aggressive enough that you probably want to have more than one feeder cone on one tank if that's all you have. And uh, these are a great option for feeding frozen foods, um, especially if they're sort of in, in a cube-like shape. You just pop them into the feeder cone. You situate this on the wall of your aquarium so that your fish can sort of feed around the edges and pick all of the pieces of frozen food out uh, a little bit at a time so that they can sort of graze on that, feed on that over time. Um, it sort of you know, el eliminates the ability for one fish to just take it all and uh, gives everyone a little bit better of a shot to, uh, to eat that. So five of these in the cichlid box, which is awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoy those. Next up, we have check valves. And again, we have five of these as well, which is always nice. Uh, you never know how many tanks you've got or how many airlines you're running, but chances are at some point you're gonna use all five of these. And uh, these things are really simple. The air goes in from one direction, comes out the other, and uh, it 
doesn't allow a sort of back siphon to uh, travel back down that check valve. If you've got an air pump, especially if the air pump is lower um, than your water line, you're definitely going to want a check valve. So good thing to have. You will always be able to use that. Next up is a sample size of a water conditioner. And this comes from Hikari, although um, the brand name on the top is Ultimate Aquarium Solutions or Aquarium Solutions Ultimate Full Functioning Water Conditioner. So if you've tried a lot of water conditioners, here's another one for you to try. Uh, it's, I think, a little bit diff more difficult to find. I've actually never used this before, so I'm going to test this out and see how it does. Uh, but it says this stuff is good for fresh water, salt water, and ponds. So uh, definitely give that a go and uh, hopefully you like it. Next up is a product from Brightwell Aquatics and this is Razor, unique freshwater systemic cleaner designed to target and clean surfaces within your aquarium. Now if you've got a cichlid tank, chances are you've got quite a bit of rock, uh, quite a bit of decorations and hidey holes and all kinds of other things and uh, you know depending on what kind of fish you have sort of cleaning your surfaces you might get some algae growth you might just get some junk and detritus uh, growing on on your surfaces over time and uh, I guess this is a solution from Brightwell Aquatics to help treat that so very cool little product another thing that I've never tried before that I'm really looking forward to uh, giving a go to uh, see how it does. I usually get um, you know some some algae buildup and like a little bit of slime buildup if uh, if I don't clean you know my my surfaces uh, in my tank. It's easy to get the glass. It's uh, you know a little bit more difficult to sometimes get some of the the hardscape um, in terms of cleaning weekly cleaning, and so uh, that's a good thing to uh, check out. And the last item in this box is a breeding slate and uh, if you go back and check my videos from a couple weeks ago you might see uh, me making these and uh, these are a slate an actual like a slate tile breeding slate and this is a good thing for any of your egg uh, egg sort of depositing sticky egg depositing fish like angelfish specifically would use these breeding slates uh, very very well all you need to do is stick this uh, towards the side wall of your aquarium, uh, leave it sort of at a little bit of a slant so that um, you know the, the fish can sort of deposit their eggs up and down the length of the slate. And uh, it does best if you do put it sort of towards the corner of a tank because it's a more defensible position uh, for your pair of angelfish. And if you have a lot of juvenile angelfish, Putting a few of these in your tank uh, is a pretty good idea just to uh, aid you in figuring out which ones are pairs. Uh, when they start pairing off, they will start guarding uh, a territory inside the tank. So breeding slates, awesome, awesome thing to have laying around, uh, especially if you see sort of some of those uh, mating behaviors from fish such as angelfish. So that's everything in the cichlid box for the month. Let's very quickly pack this back up and we'll move on to the freshwater box. And this box is completely stuffed. Again, we've got the scorecard, so you can read through that again. And our sponsors, same thing. We've got some information. We've got the same check valves, five of them. We've got another water conditioner sample. Uh, this is also made by Hikari. This is Chloram X, which I think is the exact same thing. Uh, it just went under a different name. So, uh, you know, same, same thing. Check that out. We have the same omnivore growth pellets. So we don't need to talk about those again. And we have the same breeding slate for your angelfish or your other egg laying fish, which is good to see. And then we have two other items here, which are also pretty cool. This is an import, as you can see, and uh, this is Glossostigma seeds. So uh, if you haven't tried before, uh, Glossostigma is a pretty easy plant to, uh, to plant and to grow. 
uh, essentially what you do, and we gave the, uh, the instructions on how to do this, uh, essentially what you do is uh, you put these in like a little Tupperware with some soil, uh, you spray it down, you put uh, like a stretch wrap over it, cling wrap over it, let it set for a couple of days, make sure the soil remains moist, and once you see them starting to grow, then you can transplant them uh, and put them under water so that you can start to grow those in your tank. This is a nice carpeting plant um, for your planted aquariums. And this beast right here <laughs> is uh, definitely a unique item for my aquarium box. If you've gotten a freshwater box in the past, chances are you've gotten something called choya wood. Uh, it's a popular item actually for hermit crab tanks, but it's also something that can be used in freshwater aquariums. Shrimp love these, plecos love them, uh, anything that needs a hidey hole, a hidey place, really enjoys the regular choya wood, uh, but it's much smaller than this. This is a giant choya, and uh, it's much, much larger, uh, it's longer, and something like this is absolutely massive takes up half of the box here and uh, we would give you more but it wouldn't fit <laughs> nothing else would fit inside the box so very cool item here this will float for probably a week or two and then it will sink uh, there's plenty of surface area here if you wanted to silicone this to a piece of slate or something else to uh, stick it down on the bottom of your tank. But very, very cool sort of uh, honeycomb-like structure here. This is basically the husk, uh, like the dead husk of a cactus. And so over time, if you have plecos and shrimps and other things, they'll start to chew away at the surface uh, and actually eat it. Um, and especially with shrimp, there's sort of a biofilm that will start to form over the entire surface of this, and they love to eat that stuff. So great ha habitat to hide, you know, your, your small uh, inhabitants in your freshwater tank and also a great food source for them. So can't go wrong with giant choya wood. And that's it for this month's My Aquarium Box. You have a few days left to sign up for October's My Aquarium box. If you want to learn more, you can check us out at myaquariumbox.com. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.